Today we'll be reading a book called Giraffes Can Dance. It's a story on Gerald the Giraffe who really wanted to dance with his friends. However, everyone knew how to dance except for him. So let's read the book to find out what happens. But before we do that, we're going to go over some vocabulary. The first word that we'll be going over with is crooked. The way to cut this up and chop it up is by going crooked, which makes crooked. This means something that's bent or twisted out of shape. As you can see, this door is crooked and this building is crooked. The next word that we're going to go over is the word munch. The way to chop this up is m unch. M unch makes munch. It's to eat or chew, especially with a crunching sound. Munch, munch, munch with the squirrel. And look at this. Ola eating some leaves, munch. The next word that we're going over is the word splendid. The way to chop this up is going s-pl-n-did. You may know this word. It's a sight word, did. We just have to focus in the front. S-pl-n-did. Splendid. This word means wonderful, superb, excellent. The next word that we're going over is the word sneer. The way to chop this up is sneer. Sneer is to smile or laugh at someone in an unkind way. This can be mocking someone, making fun of someone. It's not a really nice thing to do. The next word that we're going over is the word clumsy. All right, to chop this up, we'll be going over k o um c k o um c clumsy moving or doing things in a careless way i'm clumsy sometimes i bet you are also sometimes but it's okay we can work on that and the next thing that we are going to do is read the book while we're reading I want you to focus on what is happening in the story and think of ways that you would do in order for the giraffes to feel better. The title is Giraffes Can Dance. Giraffe, Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather than crooked. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at his knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when they, the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was very, he was really very bad. You can see all the animals gathering together and dancing around for this jungle dance. The war dogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. Elegant is a way of saying something that's beautiful. The chimps all did a cha-cha with the very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. So everyone around him are making fun of him while he's trying to dance. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. 
They're right, I, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. In this story, the word clot means someone that's foolish and clumsy. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <sighs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket who had seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. This is the cr cricket. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. And Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Whoa. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived when Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with the bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that's the end of the story. The main idea of the story is to always remember to do your best, even when it may not be the same best as someone else's. As long as you try hard, it will, you will still succeed. Now let's get some questions time for some questions the first question would be what is gerald the draft good at is it a at standing still and munching shoots off trees or b at running around the jungle if you think it's a i want you to clap if you think it's b i want you to stomp your feet Give you some minutes to figure that out. Okay, let's go over it. The answer should be a, he was good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. Number two, why did Gerald feel sad at the jungle dance? So think about this. Is it A, he wanted to munch shoots off trees instead? Or B, he was very bad at dancing? Give you a few minutes. Think about that.
All right, let's go over it. The answer should be B. He was very bad at dancing, which is was why he felt so sad while everyone else was dancing at the jungle dance. Number three. What did the other animals do when they saw Gerald walking up to the dance floor? Remember, everyone was dancing, and then when he walked up to the dance floor, what happened? Was it A, they said that giraffes can't dance, or B, they happily watched him dance? Give you a few minutes to think about this. All right, the answer should be A, they said that giraffes can dance. That was before someone helped him. And if you got it right, good job. If you didn't, it is okay. Again, all we're doing right now is trying our best. Number four, who helped Gerald when he was sad? Was it A, the chimps, or B, the cricket? Clap for A, snap for crickets. Give you some time to think about that. The answer should be B, the cricket helped him. Number five, the cricket played a what when he was trying to help Gerald to dance? Was it A, the flute, or B, the violin? Give you some time to think about that. All right, let's go over it. The answer should be B, the violin. Number six, when was Gerald able to dance? Was it A, when he found the music that he loved, or B, when he took dance lessons? Think about this and let me know your answer. Whatever you do, as long as you try. Okay, let's go over it. The answer should be A, when he found the music that he loved. And that's it for today. And I want you to always remember to try your best. And instead of making fun of people when they are getting something wrong or when they're learning how to do something, you should help them instead. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching.